I am here to represent the Fendorian Council. Thank you for coming. There are many Fendorian Councils, but this one is the one in left space. I'm sure that some of you will find it, but our council would like to speak to you about coming events. We realize that there have been many different channels on this planet, as you call them, that have been giving information about coming events. Please take them with some sincerity because there will be something that has to come. We do not want to state the beginnings or endings of these things, but and we want to not be negative about them because you, the people of the light worker regime, will be somewhat protected. Do your journeys. And so those journeys may take you through some hazardous areas, but it should not harm you like it might harm those that are not prepared. But we are sending our energy and prayers to this planet, as well as many other species. It is a time of great change, as you know and it's been spoken of many times. But repetition is necessary because it has been forgotten easily by many. They say, we've heard of this many times and yet nothing happens. So we will let you know something will happen and it will be not far off. So that is all. Just prepare yourself for change. And you see it all around you. The weather on your planet has gone through some interesting changes and will continue to change. Your governments have gone through some interesting changes and will continue to change. Your monetary systems have gone through some changes you may not be aware of them all, but they continue to change. They will all come to some conclusion at some point. It is a necessity, for things cannot move forward this way with any kind of control or manageability. So it must come to a place where things will change in a drastic and more necessary way. Change can be painful, but also good. So do not look at it in a negative way, but try to flow along with it as much as you can. It will change the status of some people on the planet, but that is a necessity as well. And you will understand that when it happens because the future will record the changes as being positive and not as being negative. Do you understand? We love you and I have prayers for you and are sending energy to you. We understand this is inevitable but necessary. We understand that it is highly unwanted by many, but that is not your choice. It is the choice of in an inevitability, basically. It must change and it will change. It must change and it will change. I know that I am looking at many very loving hearts and souls. There has been changes even within the last few days here. There has been some rising of energy, some understandings that were not there before, some light shed on things within yourself that needed light shed on. We thank 
you for letting that happen because it is your free will to understand that it can happen and will happen. That is all I really have to say. If there are any questions, I may answer just a few. I see that there might be. I have a practical question. Many of us, a few of us, uh, have a wish to get infusion from, the, from your species. Is that possible? Is that the right time to request? Fendorian infusions can be given, but not through the Fendorian Council. That must go through the alliance called Gurkvikneer. Okay, thank you. Next one. I have a question. Yes. You, 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 were, you were mentioning, I don't know, changes regarding governments. Yes. I, was, I know that I am interacting with them in astral. So I have been feeling a lot of changes in my body as well. I don't know if that is connected to my astral body. Have there been any discussions in astral between, between me or others with the governments? to bring changes um, here? Many of your people are concerned about the governments and the way that things are now. Many of you have gone into astral to take care of this because you know no other way to do it. So that is the way that you are handling it at this time. Yes, you are making changes also in your body because there are much fourth dimensional energy portals open here on this planet and you will slowly change in many ways but not drastically and not immediately it will be a drastic change at the end of many many years for you but at this moment you are just going to have gradual changes in your body nothing severe Another question. Thank you so much for answering questions. I am so happy about that. Um, as I was told, I am one of you, and that makes me very happy. I'm not as even in 10% dignified as you are, but I'm grateful for, for being here. But I have a question to you. I seem to be really loving planet Earth, so I understand that my mission is to bring love here and uh, and just just assist the ascension. But at the same time, I chose on some level to put myself through all kinds of not pleasant life experiences. Was that part of my mission, or did I screw up? No, you are learning to be resilient. You are learning that the future will be um, perhaps easier because the past was more difficult. But do not be so focused on the events, but that the mission must move forward and that you are holding light for it. You are a light holder, and that is a mission in itself, but there are other things that you must do. And at this point, you may have come through many things, but it is to teach you that the fear that you had was not necessary. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there any other questions? I have one. Yes. Hi, it's Liney. Greetings. Hi there. Um, yeah, I was interested to find out um, a bit more or anything about the, um, the uh, Lionsgate portal that opens soon. Um, because I've seen a lot about it online recently. And also, um, I was driving along the road the other day and I see a, a big sign with the word Lionsgate on. And I thought that was quite sort of synchronistic um i was just wondering if there's um anything in it for me personally and everybody else 
there will be some personal connection with you, and that is meant to be. And you are aware of it for particular reasons. I cannot tell you all the things that uh, are to be known. You will have to learn them on your own from experience and from the information that is coming to you. But I am here to say, yes, that is a true existence. The lion's gate will open. Is that a is that an appropriate answer for your question? Yeah, that that's good. Yeah, I, I was just wondering um, uh, for for everyone else as well. Um, what what, what would it mean? Then? Or what could we do to um, use that energy? It will be apparent that the energy you will feel it and be able to use it. You will bring it into your system quite easily. Those with fourth dimensional energies will know how to use it and bring it in quite easily. It will be nothing of a challenge for you. Thank you. You are welcome. If that is all, I will conclude my stay. We wish you all the best. And we know that your missions will go as forward as you let them. Let them go to their truest end. For in that way, the truest positivity will be given to the world. Thank you. Thank you. We have 15 more minutes. We can invite another speaker if you like. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>